so we have been working on this for the last uh, two and a half years since uh, the Scripps Physics Oncology Center was funded as part of the National Cancer Institute Initiative in Physical Sciences Oncology. And there's a fundamental problem that on the research side of how cancer spreads um, was of interest to us, and that was trying to really understand how does the cancer go from a primary tumor through the blood into a secondary site. So that's obviously something that we can only do together with our clinical partners, and so we have been working with our colleagues on the clinical side for the past eight years actually on this problem. And I think what we have done over the last two and a half years has really allowed us to really advance this field quite substantially, and that is what this study is all about. So in the clinic, as a, as a diagnostic pathologist, when I'm looking at a cancer, say a breast cancer or a colon cancer or any carcinoma of, a, of an organ, I can see that cancer has two ways to spread. It can spread to the lymph nodes or it can spread to other parts of the body. It can go from the, from the colon to the brain or to the liver. And when I'm looking through the microscope, I can see the path it takes from the organ cancer to the lymph nodes. That's not really very mysterious. I can see the tumor in the lymph nodes, I can see it on the way to the lymph nodes, and I can see where it came from. But what's always been really mysterious is how a cancer from the colon gets all the way to the liver or to the brain. We know it has to get there via the bloodstream. We call that hematogenous spread, meaning it spreads through the bloodstream. But this has always been a very theoretical thing. No one's ever actually seen it in the bloodstream. You look in the blood, we look in the blood routinely all the time. I spend my life looking at blood under the microscope. And you almost never see these cells in, in, their, in the moment of their spread. And so it's, it was a very interesting collaboration from my perspective to work with Peter because um, he was able to put his engineering and physics and computer knowledge to work on an instrument that will help us to be able to see these cells as they spread. It's like catching a shooting star as it goes across the sky or being able to see something that's it's like a Hubble telescope almost, something that's been inaccessible up until now. We've, we know it has to be happening, but we've never actually seen it. And so by seeing it and counting it and studying it and finding out all about what those cells look like as they travel, we hope to be able to influence how they travel and whether they travel. Because in cancer, the big problem is we can cure your primary tumor. If you get a colon cancer or a, a liver cancer or a breast cancer, we can fix that. We can do surgery, we can do radiation, we can make sure that it never comes back in the place where it arose. But the problem is, what people die from is the tumor that has already spread through the bloodstream to other parts of the body. And that we have very poor tools. And that was of course a perfect setting for us because all of a sudden we had a situation where there was a real pressing clinical problem that really asked a very large number of fundamental research questions as well, and that is what really got everybody excited. Um, so with, with Kelly's help, of course, we were able to put together a really a fascinating team of a number of oncologists from a number of different cancer centers around the country, and they provided their oncology perspective. We had Kelly's diagnostic pathology uh, perspective, and we had us on the basic sciences side. And, uh, and so all of a sudden, by diligently working together, we really made some very, very interesting progress over the last, over those last couple of years. Um, and uh, that data is now coming out uh, in a series of five papers uh, in the Journal of Physical Biology. And it's an, it's an exciting description of the results of this work uh, in breast cancer, in prostate cancer, pancreatic cancer, and uh, lung cancer.